Hello everyone, this is Rahul Bawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the, you know, very interesting question that is, you know, being asked in, I think, three to four different companies and I've heard from I think, four to five subscribers. So I wanted to share this. So what is the difference between index and rank? One question that is being asked. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay. So there is, you know, see, I'm just to explain you what I'm doing is I'm just taking subcategory here and I'm taking sales also here just so that we can compare. So purposely, I am not sorting my sales here. Okay. To show you the difference. Now, what I'm doing is I am creating a calculated field here as uh, index and I'm using index function here. Okay. Index is my function. So I'm using that index function. Click on apply and okay. So I'll just take this and I will drop it here maybe and I'll just convert that into discrete. Maybe I'll do this. Sorry. I have to drop it on label here and this. Yep. Now observe this. Irrespective of the order of my sales, be it ascending or descending, this index is just giving me the row number. So basically it generates the number of rows that are present. So by default for subcategory, we, ha we have 17 items. So it is displaying 17 items. Even though you sort or you know you, it is same, the number is not changing. It is 17 on, it is not tying to, or even if I, you know, clear the sort, it is same. It is not fixing. Observe here 3024, which is the minimum of all. It is having nine. Okay. But if I sort it now, 330 has one, 114 has nine. So these numbers are just random numbers. They does not follow any specific rule. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm simply adding a rank function here or creating a calculated called as rank function and I'm using rank of rank of my sum of sales okay I want that in descending okay and just close it so now this will try to sort or give numbers with respect to this measure that you have specified and in a descending order, it is going to rate them. Apply, okay, and I'm going to just drag and drop here. Now observe here, the highest sales that we have got has got the first rank, whereas this is 14, okay? Now if I, the second rank, where is it? It is 3, like 28, it is second. Now if I try to sort it, so this is changing now, see? These both are matching. So index is only generating random number, whereas rank works, works on the measure that you have defined. It can be your ascending order or it can be your descending order. Now, if I go and specify ascending here, let us observe the difference. Now your maximum sales has become the la last rank here. The least sales has become the first rank. So this type of difference you need to understand when you're using a rank function. Okay. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you have found this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.